Hey boo, good morning. It is a cloudy Saturday and behind me is a baseball game. Um, we're currently at gymnastics and I decided to get my run in today. Um, it's only gonna be 30 minutes because I, this is supposed to be my rest day. I missed my rest day um, because I took an impromptu rest day on Wednesday, I want to say, and because I, I had some stuff going on. Y'all, stuff is just going on. <laughs> the going on is stuffing. So let me just, one of the going ons, um, is like, you know how like you have a weekend, um, and, and if you don't, it's okay, um, where you pay all the bills, all the bills are paid, but there was nothing left over. So I don't have no hobby money. Um, so I'm not sad about it or nothing like that because I am blessed that everything is paid and things like that, but nothing, zero <laughs> at <laughs> home base. So I'm going to obviously vlog. Um, I wanna make this a reading vlog and I wanna do a bunch of free stuff to offset and still have fun despite of no discretionary funds <laughs> so here we are we're at gymnastics i'm getting my exercise in one of the one things that i learned when um when you are going through a bad situation don't let up on your self-care <laughs> like if anything if you do anything keep moving i tight 10 to turtle um i go under my shell and i'm like hold up trying to fix whatever is going on and i don't come out until it's fixed um and that could mean spending hours on a computer researching and all of that other stuff and it works for me because <laughs> i typically fix it but for now i know that the resolve won't be to just it's just gonna be to go through it. So that's what we're gonna do and try to have some fun. So let's go ahead and talk about my recent reads. I'm 50% into Meddling Kids by Edward Contoro, I think that's the um, author. And I'm not really enjoying it. So I put it down. I haven't picked that one up in about a week. Um, this one is kind of a Scooby-Doo retelling. So it is a story about seven meddling kids who solved a mystery, I wanna say back in the 70s, and the mystery really wasn't solved. And so one of them, um, the badass of the group, is getting the band back together to solve the mystery. Uh, I love getting the band back together type stories. Um, but I just, I don't know what it is about this one that I can't seem to want to read it. It's to me unnecessarily vulgar, um, which I can deal with cursing and sex talk and stuff like that, but it's just unnecessarily vulgar because you kind of want it to be a bit more whimsical because it is a Scooby-Doo retelling. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna put that one to the side. So I am right now about 85% into The Beast's Heart and that's by Leaf Shall Cross. I am tandeming it, reading it with the physical book and the audio book. The audio book is narrated by Jim Dale who narrates Harry Potter. And that just gives it such a beautiful experience. I am consuming it with my eyes because it's just such a beautiful, lush and whimsical story that I really don't want to end. So it's taking me longer because I don't want it to end. So what it's about is, it's a Beauty and a Beast retelling. And it's told from the perspective of Beast. Um, because you hear a lot of Beauty and Beast retelling type situation. And it's told from the bell like character. Well, this one is told from the perspective of Beast. Um, there is some minor deviations from the plot, but they are minor to the overall story. So we are following Beast. I can't remember his name. 
um, right after the start of his curse. So Beast has been cursed and he doesn't really remember. He just knows that he's in his mansion and now he's a beast and a fairy cursed him because it sounded like he just wasn't a good person. So it is in first person. So we are in Beast's head, which is good for me because we really get to know and understand Beast. And we're getting a lot of character development from Beast. And I love that for him. So long story short, um, Belle, her name is Isabel in this story. Her father pimped her out to Beast. <laughs> and Beast has kept her. But the deal in this story is that she only gets her for a year. He only gets her for a year and is to return her back. Well, <laughs> he's fallen in love with her. Um, and I'm at the part of the story where the year has passed and now she's back. So I do plan on finishing this story today. I will wrap all of that up at the end of the video. Um, so I got a few things planned for this weekend. I am going to do this. I want to stop by Whimsyland. It's a little fairy tale house not too far away from where I live. And all of these years, I never knew it was considered a museum. So hopefully I can take you guys with me. Then tomorrow, I am going to do community yoga um, at the Safety Harbor Market. Um, that is free and is donation based. But honey, all I can donate is a loving kindness meditation. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that a try. And then I also have an interview at Bath and Body Works for a seasonal job. I know I probably won't be making no money, but I wanna experience it. And literally it's part of my bucket list to work at Bath and Body Works. So I'm excited to see how it goes. They're willing to work with me to work only one day a week. And it was beautiful because um, they actually offered me the job and told the manager told me to apply and she's been trying to get me to apply since July and she told me I needed to apply in September I did and three days later <laughs> I got an interview so I'm excited for that I think it's coming at the right season in my life because y'all know my channel is Bath and Body Works and I can't wait to share that with y'all um also at the end of today I have book club um at the library and the book is you can't sit on my furniture and your outside clothes by phoebe robinson and y'all think i read that book <laughs> no i didn't crack it open but in effort not to turtle like i typically do i'm still going to go to book club and enjoy so i'm going to take y'all with me um probably sit not get too much footage but yeah so i got a jam-packed weekend obviously i'm going to cook and clean and do some meal prepping and I'll see y'all in the next clips. Bowling balls? Where do they come from? Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Dining table? Dining table? Oh. I know it's raining. Let me. Really? They love that. It's live, laugh, love. Well, it could be whatever it want to be. It doesn't have a head. How come this is somebody's house, but they're never home? Somebody obviously owns it. This is literally so magical.
didn't read the book y'all but it was a great discussion and i was able to kind of like speed read to answer some questions but the fellowship is what was the key so my husband used to say that fellowship is power and it is so girl let this be a reminder that if you are in a book club and y'all having a meeting even if you don't read the book go to the book club meeting i'm in a dollar tree and why i see this book and this one is from the the show cursed which i actually started and liked and it's kind of thick but the words the words aren't that bad so look and there's pictures in here i think too let me see yes there's artwork <gasps> y'all i got to pick this one up good morning i missed yoga so i'm running four miles currently listening to these meddling kids did finish up beast heart by leaf child crass and that's a five star read i was shocked when i put it in good read and it only had a 3.66 because that's a five star book i hypothesized the people that gave it low ratings gave it low ratings because they was looking for spice <laughs> um because the other popular beauty in the beast retelling um venture off into like fey and spice 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 and pretty much it is the pumpkin spice of retellings but don't <laughs> anyway um i enjoyed that one so i figure i'm going to finish up meddling kids um on the docket is cleaning i'm trying to cook and I might meal prep, depends. And I also have my interview today. So I'm gonna try to bring y'all along with me. And then at the end of the day, we're gonna finish up the vlog. Okay, so they told me that, well, I Googled and everybody was saying that you should wear sneakers um, and jeans, but ain't no way in my millennial heart I could do that. So this is what I wore. I just wearing a black sh plain black shirt. Um, This little cardigan that I got from the loft these little halara pants and some loafers nothing in my millennial heart can let me wear um that's that it's let me wear sneakers so here I am um I'm about to head out it takes me only takes me 10 minutes oh and I'm wearing vanilla romance I think that that's perfect so yeah, I'm about to head out. Cousin. So I went to the interview and I was there and I was just like standing there and they, the lady that was supposed to be interviewing us wasn't even there. So now I'm like second guessing myself like, oh my God, did I write down the wrong day? Um, did I like get it mixed up? But then I was like, no, because when she asked me about my interview, I specifically told, cause she wanted me to do Thursday at 2 p.m. I was like, well, no, I, I'm working during the day and I can't. So then she was like, well, what days are you available? And I was like, I prefer Sunday. So then she was like, let me um, schedule something on a Sunday because I can do a group interview. So then I had went in the store on Thursday and I was talking to someone about my interview and she was telling me that she knew that they was going to interview me and she put in a good word for me. And she was like, yeah, it's going to be two or three of y'all. So I went to go in. Um, when I was in the store, I noticed there was another girl and she looked pretty young and she was at the um she was at the order pickup station she was just like standing there and i was like oh well i'm sure she not an interview because she had on ripped up jeans and she actually had on exactly what google said that you wear to a bath and body works interview she had on a black shirt she had on some jeans and some vans it says you should do that or vans or converse so i i just i just can't so it made me feel so old y'all oh my god i feel so embarrassed that i had on i have on slacks and a sweater and it just really shows the difference in age so um the manager who's not a hiring manager ended up having to interview us and we it was literally two questions tell me about yourself and why bath and body works and that was it so I was like, well, when will we know 
well i was like when will training start if we get the job and she was like well onboarding training start in september and i'm thinking like that's pretty early for a seasonal job because i'm used to seasonal jobs being october november december in the first week of january maybe so i don't know i might have bit off more than i can chew um but i did specifically say in the email i'm not willing to go over my one day there's about three weeks during the holiday seasons the week of thanksgiving the week of um in the two weeks of christmas that i'm willing to take on somebody else's shifts but yeah so i'm here with my cousin what's up y'all we went to my other cousin house Grandma. to grandma house um to pay some respects to her so yeah. i'm just here with her and we got snacks and we yeah, we don't need me eating, <laughs> but it's never gonna hurt nobody. Just one little spoon. I just done went too far, yeah, as they, usual. They went too far. Mm -mm. Same mm -hmm. buddy did. My cousin putting flowers on the gray. I'm trying to get her booty. Ain't that type of video. Okay. There you go. They eating her up. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Cousin, let's wrap up this vlog. Thank you for coming along with me for this weekend where we experienced a weekend in my brokish life. Now, not, let me not say that because I'm not going to speak that. However, thank you for going along with me while I tried to have some fun and enjoy my life even though the finances wasn't financing. So in this vlog, we read The Beast's Heart, and this is by Leaf Shalcross. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling told from the perspective of Beast. It is pretty true to the story that we know and love, but some of the adaptations were changed a bit, but the overall arching story was the same. I gave this one five stars. I consumed this one with my eyes and listening to the audiobook which was an amazing experience as it is narrated by Jim Dale, the guy who narrates Harry Potter. So this was a wonderful, clean Beauty and the Beast retelling. And if you are in the space to read some a fairy tale retelling, this is a beautiful atmospheric read that you won't forget. I uh, also finished up Meddling Kids, and this one is by Edgar Contero, and I gave this one, unfortunately, two stars. It was just very hard for me to continue on with the story because it was hard for me to connect with the characters. I did consume this one with both my eyes and the audiobook, and the audiobook really wasn't doing it for me, but it wasn't horrible. So this is a Scooby-Doo retelling several years after children solved a mystery when they were 13 years old. Life has happened. Some of the members have been incarcerated and some of them, unfortunately, met their untimely demise. But this is like a, they decided to get the band back together to solve a mystery that really wasn't originally solved. So yeah, it sounds like it was a good premise, but I struggled with the pacing. I felt like it just continued to go on and on and on again. I struggled with the fact that the plot seemed to need, the plot should have been shortened by 100 pages. And I struggled with how unnecessarily vulgar it is um, for a Scooby-Doo retelling. So I did not necessarily enjoy this one, but it was on my TBR. And I'm glad to report that in the the last week, I have read three books that I checked out from the library, which is awesome. I also got to link up with my cousin and my other cousin. I didn't get any footage of that. And so I got to see some family and support one of my cousins. I went on an interview for Bath and Body Works. I'm hopeful that I got the job and I did some fun enriching things like go to the library and go to book club and go to a local place that have been on my list forever. So yeah, the, those are the things that I did this weekend. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you think about it. Love you until the next one. Bye.